Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and in this video I'm going to uh, go over a complementary MOSFET XOR uh, gate setup. I left this video out in an earlier series, and one of my viewers pointed that out. Uh, purely an oversight, but I thought, all right, well, I better go on and go back and fill this in for those that might be interested. Uh, what I should start with though is there are a lot of different ways potentially of building an XOR gate uh, with complementary MOSFET logic. Uh, depending on how well the parts are matched you can get away with potentially somewhere around uh, uh, six or so uh, MOSFETs to do it although it's more of a, um, a kludge uh, to make that happen and it really requires the MOSFETs to be very well matched. Uh, if you really think about an XOR gate, what it is is two ANDs and an OR for the most part. Each AND is looking for only one of the inputs to be on. Uh, so you have one that's A not B, the other one that's B not A and then the you or that combination and that's really what you're looking for in this particular case I actually used uh, a NAND gate an OR gate and ANDed the results together and the reason I did that is because of how the uh, the logic itself works so let me uh, let me show you that real quick We'll kind of go over that just so you can understand what I, what I did here. So over on the left, you'll see my A inputs and my B inputs. So we've got all four combinations of those two possible inputs. The next column, A NAND B, actually is the output of NANDing A and B together. And you'll notice you get ones any time both of them are not on. The, th the fourth column, A or B, is your standard OR gate. You get a 1 any time either or both of them is on. And I took advantage of this setup in that the only time I really want output is when, the, when uh, uh, one, input, one input or the other is on. If you look at the uh, A NAND B and the A or B results, you'll notice that the only time those are both on is in the middle, basically when when either A or B is on. So by anding the results of the NAND, the output of the NAND gate and the OR gate, I get exclusive OR. I get a one when and only when A or B is on, but not both of them. So that's what I was ultimately after is an exclusive OR. Now, as I said, you could build this with a couple of ANDs. Uh, by having both uh, A and B and not A and not B uh, fed into those into those two AND gates and then ultimately or the results. That would also work, but this just happened to be a little bit easier in my mind to set up and use. So that's what I did in this particular video. Uh, so if I bring the the circuit back over here and I will give you a I will show you a schematic of the circuit so that you can work with it although as I said there's many possibilities you'll notice I'm going to turn this light off you'll notice we've got a red LED on and in this case uh, the red LED is representing a um, is representing a zero because both of our switches are off right now if I press one of the buttons you'll notice we get a green which is a one. If I press the other button we also get a green. If I press this button and the other button so they're both on we get a zero again. So we get a zero when they're both on, we get a zero when they're both off, we get a one when either of them is on. That's basically an exclusive OR gate. So looking at the circuit here I have my two uh, inputs here. They're basically uh, switches that have uh, positive rail coming in on one side. On the other side you'll see a resistor to uh, a resistor to ground. 
that uh, causes these to normally, uh, when the switches are unpressed, uh, you'll, the circuit will see grounds or zeros on both inputs. And those are then fed into first this gate, which is a NAND gate, this gate down here, which is an OR gate, and then the results of both of those are fed into this, which is an AND gate, and then of course my output. So if we look here at this, um, if we look here at this first circuit, what we're really looking at, now I know it's hard to see in here, what we're really looking at is two uh, P channel, excuse me, sorry, two P channel MOSFETs on the left and two N channel MOSFETs on the right. And the organization of these, you'll see in the schematic, is the P channels are in parallel and the N channels are in series and the outputs taken uh, between those uh, with an input to each of the P channels and an input to each of the N channels. Uh, and what you in essence get in that combination is an AND gate. Down here again we have two, uh, two, P, two P channels, two N channels, and then a combination of a P and an N channel. And in this case, the P channels are in series and the N channels are in parallel. And that portion of the combination uh, creates what would be a NOR gate. And then by putting a P and an N channel on the end between the positive rails and taking the output between them, I create an inverter so that NOR becomes an OR. And then the final gate over here is actually an AND. And what you'll see is the, the left part, again, um, two P channels, two N channels, and then a P and an N channel. The, um, the two P channels and the two N channels are like, uh, are like they were for the NAND gate. The P channels are in parallel, the N channels are in series, which gives me my NAND, and then a P and an N channel in series gives me my inverter. Uh, yeah, in, well, in series between the rails with the output between them gives me my inverter so that NAND becomes an AND. So that gives us uh, basically a NAND, an OR, and an AND, and then the output. So let's, let's look at the schematic, and I know this is really hard to read because uh, there's uh, quite a bit on it and a lot of the lines run together but I've attempted to I put dashed lines around the different sections that feed this so you'll see uh, in, the, in the on the very left are the two switches that are coming in with the pull down resistors and then uh, in over to the left near the top you'll see the NAND gate both the P channel uh, MOSFETs uh, in parallel and the N channels in series and each switch feeds a P channel and an N channel uh, which basically says hey if um, if they're both both switches are open you're seeing zeros or ground at the two inputs and the ground at those two inputs will turn on effectively both of the P channel resistors and output 5 volts so 0 and 0 generates a 1 out which is an AND gate. And then basically if both of them are closed, you're seeing 5 volts uh, from each of the switches, which will in essence, both the P channels will be off and the N channels will both be on, which puts ground as the output. So a 1 and a 1 in outputs a 0. And then if you look at the other combinations, one switch on or the other switch on is going to if both switches aren't on, the end channels, at least one of them will be off, and one of the P channels will be on, which will put 5 volts out. So in that case, if either switch uh, is off, uh, you're going to get an output. So that is our, that's our NAND gate. Our OR gate, very similar in nature, but organized just the opposite, or let's look at at least the, the left four MOSFETs it really is operating as a NOR gate on the left hand side so you've got two P channels in series and two N channels in parallel so you've got just the opposite logic in this sense so if both switches are on uh, yeah I mean both switches are open we're seeing ground 
that will cause both of the P channels to be on and you will see a uh, 5 volts out of this um, right that you'll see 5 volts out of this if both switches are closed you're gonna see 5 volts in there which is going to cause both the P channels to be off and both the N channels to be on so you're gonna see ground out and then of course if either switch is um, if either switch is is closed you're gonna the P channels won't both be on so you won't see that and one of the N channels will be on so ground will come out so you're seeing um, you're seeing the output of a NOR and then finally the last piece the output of that is fed into the the complementary the true complementary aspect of this uh, you got a P channel and an N channel between the rails the inputs fed to both of them and only one of them will go on which will invert the input so if it gets a one it'll be a zero a zero will be a one that takes the nor and makes it an or the final piece is to take the output of both of those previous two gates and feed it into in this case another uh, in this case it's an and the first the left four uh, MOSFETs uh, make up the NAND gate we already saw which the output is then fed into again an inverter to make the NAND into an AND gate so in essence that's how this circuit works uh, you uh, you AND the output of a NAND and an OR and you will get an exclusive OR circuit and one of those LEDs will go on so I hope this uh, hope this helps uh, sorry it took so long to, to get around to it but uh, that's what I have Thanks for watching.